hello good morning all today in this video we are going to discuss regarding how to add buttons inside group by tree view in odoo so currently in the screen you are seeing odoo version 15 community edition where we are continuing our odoo 15 development tutorials so the point that we will be discussing in this video is how to add a button inside group by tree view so currently in the screen you can see there is a lot of appointments for the patients so simply i'll go to the search view and i'll group by patients so from here i'll select the patients and i'll click on apply so right now you can see all the appointments has been grouped by the patients so what i'll be showing is how to add a buttons inside this group by list view so here you can see here you can see apple test and it has seven appointments here so here you can see we have around seven appointments so near to this name i'll be adding a new button that is apple test and i'll add a button and on clicking that we can perform some operations in odoo so let's see how we can add a button inside group by tree view in odoo so i'll go to the pie charm and here we have the custom add-ons and OM hospital. I will navigate to the views folder and to the appointment view.xml. So here you can see this is the corresponding tree view, view hospital appointment tree, where we have the header and then fields and a couple of buttons. So I have to make some code changes inside this tree view. So at the last if you come back to the ui we have two buttons here so after that button definition i will add a new tag called group by group by and then you have to specify on grouping which field this option has to be shown so i will add the patient id so here you can see we have the patient id so i'm saying on grouping with patient id field i have to show these options and group by can be added only for many to one fields so if you check patient id field inside the appointment so if i go to the models folder and to the appointment.py you can see it's a mini to one to hospital dot patients so the group by button can be applied only for mini to one fields in odoo so right now i'm grouping by patient id field then inside this you can define a button so i'll add a button inside this button name i'll give us action test because i'm just executing a test function test then i'll give string as Test or I'll give us click me then type as object type equal to object then you can need class OE highlight if you need you can specify the classes class OE highlight and I'll close so what I have done is inside the group by I have simply defined a button with name action test string as click me type object and class oe highlight now what we have to do as it is a type object we have to define this function so i'll copy this and we have to define this function where we have to define not inside hospital dot appointment we have to define it inside the core model of this field so we have to define inside the hospital dot patient model so i'll copy the action test and i'll go to the patient dot py this is the hospital dot patient model so here i will add a new function diff action test and i'm not going to perform anything i'll simply add a print statement and i'll print clicked and i'll just return so simply i have just defined a dummy function with a print statement and return now what i'll do i'll simply restart the service and let's upgrade the module and see what happens so i'll go to the ui and i'll go to the apps menu and i'll upgrade om hospital module so you can see the module is getting upgraded now if i come back to the appointments and group by patient id so i'll group by patient click on apply and if you try to expand the first record you can see you have got a new option called click me so let me clear the log the log is empty and if i click on click me button and if you check the log 
you can see the function has been got executed action test has been executed similarly we can add n number of buttons over here suppose if i need to add one more button button name i'll just click on duplicate button name edit string edit have special type of button and type edit i'll give like this simply i have added a new button with name edit string edit let's see what happens i haven't tried this much so let's go to the ui and let's upgrade and see what happens so i'll go to the apps menu and i'll try to upgrade om hospital module so the module is getting upgraded without any errors in the log so i'll come back to the ui navigate to appointments group by patient id apply and what i will do i'll just save it as save my current search because i can access it regularly patient group by patients i'll name it as group by patients they use by not used by default save so if you check here you can see you have got a new button edit and if you click on that you will be redirected to the patient's form view and you can come back here here we have Odoo mates and if you click on edit you will be redirected to the Odoo mate screen and you can make changes inside that record so this is done using the type edit this is a special case which we can use inside this group by type edit so once you specify the type as edit it will open the corresponding group by record in the edit mode and we can edit the record so if i go to the pineapple test and if you click on edit you can see it's open in edit mode and i'll change to female save then you can come back and if you click on again edit it's opened in edit mode so this is how we can add buttons in group by buttons in group by review in Odoo. so if you need to hide these buttons you can add attrs and inside this you can add fields from the patient model so everything you do inside this group by tag will be applicable only that should be from the hospital dot patient model now if you try to group by another field so if i try to group by what doctor field group by doctor apply you will not see that buttons so that buttons will be visible only when you group by patients you can see click me edit so this is how we can add buttons in group by tree view in Odoo. so i hope you understood this video if you have any doubts feedbacks or suggestions don't hesitate to share with us over the email that is odoomates at gmail.com and feel free to connect us in the social medias like linkedin facebook twitter and instagram so that's it for the day have a nice day Thank you.